So in this video, I kind of want to talk a little bit about Fitbit and the best Fitbit alternatives, but I didn't want to make it like every other article and video you see where they talk about the main competitors that they have and kind of going outside the box. I've included some, uh, just the ones that I thought were the best and worth talking about. Now, the list is not all carbon copies of Fitbit. So if you're looking for the same thing as Fitbit, um, maybe one or two of those in this list, but I kind of wanted to go outwards and kind of find the coolest stuff because man, I love wearables and you know, whether we're, we're in the field, uh, I love seeing competitors and I love seeing what everyone else is doing. And I found some really cool ones on this list and I've kind of put them into categories. So depending on what you might need, then there is a specific one for you, right? And if you just want to go back to the basics, that's fine. But let's start the list. First thing I have here is the closest thing that you're going to see on this list to the Fitbit. That's the Xiaomi My Smart Band 6. Now, I know a lot of people are probably thinking about these Chinese brands. Uh, this is, you know, just all crap. You're going to have it for a week and then that's it. That's not always the case. I actually had one of Xiaomi's very first phone models when they were competing with Apple, still are. It wasn't the greatest, it was still good, but they've made tremendous improvements. And if you're looking for something that's the same thing as a Fitbit, but a lot cheaper, this thing starts at 50 bucks, which is pretty good. And you're gonna get a lot of the same features. You're gonna get your heart rate, you get your distance, you're gonna get your steps. It's water resistant uh, in 50 feet, has SpO2. So, you know, a lot of these wearables are adding that SpO2 feature. People really love it. Uh, let's go to the next one. I kind of want to do this quick. I don't want to waste anyone's time. The next one is kind of if you're still into classic watches and you want to put a toe into the water, you don't want to jump completely to the wearable tech aspect of things. Withings. I really love these guys. I believe I should have really researched this. I think they're from Finland originally and somebody bought somebody, uh, but I've followed these guys for quite some time it's a very nice looking watch it's like a traditional beautiful classic watch and it's got a nice little screen inside that kind of gets you gets you the best of both worlds actually actually I really like uh, really like the design of this to be honest with you and I think after them a lot of other companies have started taking this uh, taking this approach with like I think fossil and other companies, the main features that you're going to see, they have very limited uh, activity tracking and they have BPM. So, you know, features wise, not the greatest, but you know, if all you really need is BPM, you want a classic looking watch, you know, this is the one for you. The next one is the IO Smart Sleeve. We have it up there. Very different from your traditional smartwatch, smart band. You know, this is a great wearable if you're really looking for deep insights into your health. A lot of the products that you see today, they're recycling the same features, BPM, steps, you know, yada, yada. With this IO Smart Sleeve, you get something we call heart rate variability. A lot of you must might have heard about that. I'm not going to spend too much on HRV. Uh, maybe I'll leave a link in the description. But the importance of HRV is becoming so, so significant. You know, we see Apple making an attempt to do it. Uh, and what the IO Sleeve does really well is it presents it in a way that's you know, human readable, you know, you know, a lot of medical data that we see can be confusing, difficult to read, but the eye sleeve and the app, they do a great job. You can man monitor your stress. Got a live ECG is one of the few devices that actually has a live ECG. You can track stress, your recovery, food sensitivities, and so much more. It's just, it's a really fun app. And the great thing about it is you're really learning about yourself. You know, you're learning how to optimize your health in the best way. This is definitely at the top of the list if you're thinking about uh, an HRV monitor, an HRV tracker. Next on the list, I kind of included this. If you know you have a bit more money saved up in the piggy bank and you're really into high-end tech, this is the Garmin Phoenix 6. Now this thing, I mean, you're gonna get as close to James Bond as you possibly can because I mean, the features on this thing are crazy. They have features like hydration, tracking body battery recovery level and a whole bunch of other stuff the kind of the i don't know how they call it the upper models upper level of the models actually has a solar charger so you can actually charge it with the sun uh that's actually 
a big complaint that I hear in the wearable tech space. I mean, you know, you got to get such a small battery into, you got to make this wearable product as small as possible. And people complain about the battery, you know, too bad. Every product uses kind of along the same lines. But hey, if you're willing to shell over $650, that's the base price of the Garmin. Hey, it's all yours. So the next one is for the Intense Athlete. And this is the Whoop bracelet. A lot has been made about these guys. They've just kind of recently, they've been around for a while. I've known them for quite some time. And they recently got into notoriety. You know, Eli Manning, I think, has invested in them. Had a big commercial on uh, one of the NFL games with Patrick Mahomes. He's a brand ambassador. And, you know, again, we're looking at heart rate variability. They focus mainly on workout recovery, optimizing, you know, your health that way, making sure you don't overtrain. You're going to hear a lot about heart rate variability on this channel, and it serves a purpose. I mean, it's it's so crucial and the fact that there's a biomarker like this that really gives you an inside look into your health and the things that you don't feel it's like a it's really like a check engine light for your heart and uh, a precursor an incredible tool that could be a potential predictor of something fatal you know a lot of people think they're healthy until you know things go wrong we've seen these instances a lot and uh, this is not meant to uh, scare anybody but hey hrv is a great tool if you got it and you're kind of monitoring every day learning about yourself it's it's awesome i would recommend anybody get it no matter what device you really want to use next this is uh i titled it for the sleeper the aura ring a lot of has been publicized about them as well their main thing also heart rate variability they have some other features as well price tag on that is 300 dollars. and yeah just to go back to the whoop the whoop it's a monthly fee right it's a monthly subscription so if you're willing to go down that route uh, i know a lot of people aren't i frankly i hate subscription fees uh, but hey, it's, uh, you know, it's what they do and uh, that's what's made them a lot of money up to this point. So the Aura Ring, same type of thing. Their heart rate variability, heart rate variability is mainly geared towards sleep. So, you know, sleep is becoming really, really popular. Not just the action of sleeping. I mean, that's always popular. But and uh, sleep analysis, you know, a lot of devices are starting to include it in there. I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. A lot of lobbying for these, uh, you know, sleeping apparatuses and sleeping pills sleep is a big market so that is the direction that aura decided to go with so you know kudos it's a nice looking ring if uh, that's up your alley very minimal non-invasive also on their website i saw they mentioned the accuracy is apparently better on the ring because it's closer to the arteries the best blood pressure wearable is amron so amron is known for their regular bulky uh blood pressure devices and no longer do you have to get one of those or go into a pharmacy. You can now get a smartwatch looking thing with a blood pressure monitor. Fairly simple, starting at 500 bucks. Stat here, half of adults in the United States suffer from high blood pressure. This is gonna be a tool for that. It's great. Another one, the best for yoga tech, uh, the Muse 2. Now this is definitely a strange looking one, but the, some of the things that you will see from this app and from this device are pretty cool. It's got an EEG sensor, it's got a PPG, which is uh, photoplastomography. This is your standard optical sensor that you would have in a Fitbit and an Apple everything right it's just your bpm sensor they use that as well one of the few products actually that has an eeg and they do a whole lot of interesting things with that here's what they say the claim is that eeg sensor provides real-time feedback on their mental state another interesting thing that they said was look these apps like common headspace it's a subscription fee for advice which is a great it's great but what if you had the capability to actually see how you're doing mentally now we're the technology is getting there and with eeg and what muse is doing and with heart rate variability that's a really plausible thing that we can actually start considering in the future now actually another one for mental health and mindfulness is up mood this is a wearable company actually the interesting thing is they had this design before whoop did and i'm not trying to you know uh you know i'm not trying to be controversial here but uh, i believe they were first and they're also doing hrv a lot like whoop is doing and you know everyone steals designs uh, i'm not saying that's what that that's what happened you know there's uh i actually did an article where uh, there is allegations that amazon's new band was stolen the design of it was stolen from whoop and if you look at them both side by side the resemblance is uncanny so up mood takes hrv into a bit of a fun space you know hrv is so technical they are simply taking the numbers and putting emojis on them so they had started with schools and with kids but it's great for adults too you know you we don't want to be sitting around looking through data 
you know you just want something that's simple and they're kind of making it that way they're making it a fun approach it's the first live emotion detection wearable app and the last thing it's not really out yet but i just kind of wanted to sneak peek it and this is i call it the future and the future is the facebook meta smartwatch now who doesn't want a Facebook device on them at all times. I mean, I can, will not pass the opportunity up. I will definitely be getting one of these tracking devices, you know, I mean, if they don't, as if they don't do enough, but not much is actually known about this one. They say that you'll be able to take pictures and videos from the watch. I don't know how much truth there is. There's really no release date on it either. That's the end of the video. Hope you liked it. Please subscribe. You want to leave me in comments, please subscribe, like, do all that kind of good stuff. Thank you.